What's happening guys? Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is the Bitcoin Maxi from the Bitcoin Maxi channel. Today, I've got these tweets. First tweet and the response. So the first tweet was from the time traveler. He said, I said it and I'll repeat it one more time. The Copa Court case does not matter. BSV is the real Bitcoin, whether you like it or not. The BTC investors are just gambling. They will all join BSV. So he says the Copa case doesn't matter. This is what I've always stressed, that it doesn't matter if Craig is really Satoshi or not. That could be a PSYOP. What really matters is that BSV is the real Bitcoin. They could use Craig and say that he's not Satoshi and, and, and proceed with that narrative to try and FUD people out of BSV. But at the end of the day, it does not matter because you can verifiably tell that BTC is an airdrop, that Bcash is an airdrop because the wallet addresses are verifiably different. There, It is verifiably through research that anybody can do it is verifiably the original bitcoin protocol which means that pretty much everything craig's saying is right whether he's satoshi or not that is the least down on the priority list compared to all the things that he has explained to us he's explained everything about bitcoin to us he understands bitcoin better than anybody else so even if he's not satoshi maybe satoshi is dead he's the closest thing to satoshi we have and the BSV protocol is the closest thing to Bitcoin that we have. So th th there can't be a new Bitcoin. There can't be a fork of Bitcoin that becomes the new Bitcoin. That would just be another scam. So I've contemplated this myself. What, what about Bcash? What if they realize that they've lost on BTC and they say Craig's not Bitcoin, uh, Craig's not Satoshi, we're going to proceed with Bcash as the, as the real Bitcoin. So they could pull off this scam probably for another four years. Um, because they would just pump Bcash to the moon, leave BSV where it is, say that Craig's a scammer, let BSV just go to zero, and tell everyone that Craig's not Satoshi and that Bcash is the real Bitcoin. They could easily do that and maybe even pull it off for two cycles. Um, but are you, are you in Bitcoin because, uh, to make loads of money or are you in Bitcoin because you like the white paper and you like Satoshi's vision and you believe in the original Bitcoin protocol, even if that takes, uh, two more cycles, because at the end of the day, the real truth will be exposed. There's too many people awake to what's going on and we will get to the bottom of the truth. Now I've been going into this, uh, space looking for the truth and listening to all these different sources and trying to decipher my truth and from from all my research i can't find anyone who knows more about bitcoin than sartoshi and after listening to him and coming to him with my question you know i've never been like a i've never been like oh craig's obviously not satoshi because the only person that come forward and say stuff like that with certainty are just fucking scammers so i i really like really wanted to know the answer for real and um, every question I've had, every concern that I've had has been quickly addressed by Sartoshi. And from what he's shown us on CoinDance and the transaction and the size of the transactions and what everything that's being planned on BSV and the Terra node, I don't see anything like that going on on Bcash or Fisher Price Cash. I just think the team behind BSV is the best. I think the protocol behind BSV is the best. And I think this is all going to get revealed. And, and I think Craig is Satoshi. But I'll repeat this one more time. It does not matter. Because BSV is the real Bitcoin. You, you can see that. Um, you can see it's the real Bitcoin by just looking at the wallet addresses from before and after SegWit. So if they did proceed with anything like Bcash and... and slander Craig even further it would just be a big scam so I think that it, although it could last one or two cycles I think it would get exposed before that and especially when BSV turn on Terra node you know one million transactions per second what's that going to do to the mining reward fee as soon as Terra node goes on um, it's going to be over for Bcash anyway so it just depends on whether they've got Terra node ready and ready to just flip the switch and implement it or whether they don't and they're still working on it like that's the 
that's all there really is to it. Like as soon as Terra Node comes on, it's over for these other chains. So I think Craig's gonna switch that on and uh, take these other chains to the death before the lawsuit even starts. So then people know the, the results before the lawsuit even takes place. And, and the lawsuit will just be used as a promotional opportunity for BSV. Be like, oh, well, look what happened to BSV. It's on the moon. Look what happened to BTC. It's fucked. Look what happened to Bcash and Fisher Cash. It's fucked. Um, but BSV's mooning, and now we've got attention every single day for this lawsuit. And we've got everyone in Bitcoin's attention for this lawsuit. And, and BSV will... This is my prediction. BSV will already be winning by the time we see Craig, Craig in court. And uh, this could unfold over the next few days. So, Art on Bitcoin says, if Craig loses to Copper, BSV will be done, which I don't believe is true because think about everything that they've done to BSV already. They forked the chain, they pumped BTC, they pretended it was the real coin, they pretended it was the real deal, they fucking launched an ETF on it, they FOMO'd in billions of dollars of um, exit liquidity at these prices. Like everything they've done to BSV and it's still kicking around with over a billion on the market cap these people don't care if Craig wins they hope he wins because the pump will be better but as long-term investors in Bitcoin I don't think a lot of the people care of course it would take a massive hit it would probably lose 50% but it would eventually recover and in 10 years time it will still be there and in 20 years time it will still be there and it could never go to zero because people would just always buy the dip. Like, people would realize this is Bitcoin, this is a real money, this is a hard money, this is peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash, digital scarcity, everything built into one blockchain that's working great. There would be no reason for anyone to go back to the fiat-based economic system. And I don't, th I think, I think uh, Bitcoin's too strong, it can't be destroyed now. It's gone through 10 years of oppression from the BTC people. It's... It's been in the trenches for so long, and I think it's just it's ready to coil up and explode. And uh, there'll be lots of attention on it, and lots of attention on the BTC collapse, and lots of attention on, on Terra Node. People will be wondering, what's this Terra Node? How is there a million transactions per second? How has the price gone so high so fast? I've never seen any project go so high so fast. That could only be possible on Bitcoin. And... Um, and if you thought the pump on BTC was insane, wait till you see the insane pump on BSV when people realize this is a legitimate alternative to the fiat-based economic system. Um, so yeah, I'm one of the camps says, lol, it won't die, we'll continue to build. And he says, no, you won't. Once you realize there's no money to be made, you'll leave, that's the reality. I don't think that's true because, you know, without this court case, there would be no money to be made. And people were in BSV anyway. People were supporting BSV anyway and said that this is Bitcoin anyway. So I'll still be supporting BSV no matter what happens with Craig. But I hope Craig does win because I want to see him succeed. I think he's a winner and I want to see him succeed on the highest possible level because if anyone deserves it, I think it's him. See you guys next time.